Are you going to water ski first or is that me? <laughs> I got an extra one of these. Oh no, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I'm okay. totally good. I like the lights in the front here. Where are we going again? Well, we're heading to North Zone, so via the, via the river we'll be landing uh, at the foot of the switchbacks uh, at North Zone. This is the second time we're taking this, Adam. This is, so you're familiar with the route. It's about 20 minutes or so. The last time we were here, we did this by truck, and I think it was closer to 90 minutes. So this is a much more comfortable way to do things. Much more efficient. This is how we, uh, we get the drillers to the north zone for shift changes uh, twice a day. It floats. Oh, pegando la We're a little too much at the front, maybe. Is this the front? You uh, you don't live near an ocean, clearly. No. The pointy yeah, end is the front. Yeah, long way from the front, from the ocean. The, uh, the pointy end is the front. This is South Zone, drill number nine. We really with the rental uh, tools. Te explica por favor cómo está sacando esto, qué es lo que está haciendo. Ah, pues estamos con el orientador, no, estamos programando, lo estamos haciendo para el fondo. The tool is programmed to do what they're doing, to see what they're going and what they're drilling. Pues ya no, ya sabemos que hay el interior, que hay el fondo, ponemos a perforar, terminamos, la barra se bloquea. They go, drill to the bottom, block the bar, pull the core out. Then they cut it, they cut the tools to cut everything and uh, record everything they do. Once they finish that, then they cut the rock and put it on boxes. And then they go and do the same thing again over and over. Se programa el otro interior y hace tira por abajo y es la misma. Es la rutina, you know, just do a set of cord and then go back to do the same thing again. 
these guys take the core and they transport it to the core processing facility. Right now at the drill pad number eight and then from here we'll go visit number ten and then this is south zone this is south zone yeah. yes correct So we're on the south zone and we're at the drill site for drill hole S00010. So this is the 10th hole on north zone. We have two parallel roads that run over, sorry, over south zone. We have two parallel roads. We're on the upper road. So we're slightly east of the lower road on the west flank of south zone. And this is a new one. They just started, right? This is a new hole. We've just set it up and we ran the orientation on the hole late yesterday so we're preparing to drill. Is this the newest hole in the south? It is, yes. Well, that, that, one, that one is huge. Oh, okay. So when is it going to start turning? They already started turning. They stopped. Por qué pararon? Para el cargo. Okay. We they wanted some pits for their uh, to retain their water, so that's why they stopped. Gave the backhoe a chance to dig that pit right there, and they're going to kick off right now. Now, why is this drill so much bigger than the other ones? This is a this conventional long year yeah. drill. So the, the advantage of the hydro core drills is they're much smaller. Um, they've got a lot of power, the hydro core, similar power to this. But this is a drill, the type of drill that we've used for 50 years. It's very uh, common in the industry, but it's a lot bigger. So we need slightly bigger drill pads 
Uh, so this can, can't go to every place that we want to go. This drill can't go there. So right now they're at 33 meters. They started, but they just stopped to give the back oil a break, but they're at 33 meters deep right now. Number 10. Relocated to the north zone. We're approaching the south end of north zone and we're at drill hole N042. Uh, so we're fairly deep in this hole and uh, just conventional oriented core drilling using the wireline hydro core drill. Okay, and what's the down hole? Uh, so we'll we'll relocate to another hole and we'll We'll see them down hole surveying there, and that's done to orient the hole and to collect some images of structures in the hole. So we'll see that at the next okay. hole. Hey guys, where are we going? Hey Adam, where are we going? I don't know where we're going. <laughs> if, uh, if you're we're going to hole 42. Which I think we just 42. came from hole 42. So this is 41 maybe. Um, where they're doing the geophysics testing on this hole after it's finished. this here? Ian? So this is the collar of a drill hole, in this case two drill holes, and this is the marker, the monument to where the drill holes were located. So, so this is hole number 36 yes. and hole number 35 north. At north zone. And Lo so looks like a monument for somebody that died. <laughs> it's a finished drill hole, yes. <laughs> Rest in peace, yeah. number so 36 Alejandro and 35. here is the site surveyor. So he surveys these in and then he welds up these tops and then he prepares the plates and makes sure they're bolted on to a concrete monument. And this is in steel so that if this should get buried in muck and dirt we can find it with a magnetometer with a with a metal detector. So when there is due diligence by a potential buyer do they come and look at these? They will come here and they'll probably put a, a survey staff right here and resurvey it to check the quality of Alejandro's survey. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. These are green it's like a green colors from copper oxides. Come out. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, copper oxides, right out of the cliff. Yeah. 